Hey everybody, it's the DRock900. Welcome back to more Shadow of the Colossus. In the last episode, oh, we cut off the first part of the fight with our guest right here. And I just want to say, this episode is going to be rather overkill. Because there's only one last thing for us to do after we defeat this boss, because that's our final boss. So yeah, this one is going to go a little overkill. I kind of didn't want to do my voice recording for this because I didn't want to talk too long for this. But unfortunately, I'm, I'm going to. Most of it. Whoa, nay! Oh, that would have been bad. Anyway, so let's come up here and try not to fail as I did in the last episode. Which, by the way, in this episode, we are going to be finishing the game. Yeah, came pretty darn quick, didn't it? This one's probably going to be one of my shorter Let's Plays that I've ever made in my first five months of making these things. It's got to be like a record. Wait, there's not one on his back? I guess there's only two. I guess I'm probably thinking of Barba. Anyway, maybe... Oh my lord! How did I miss? How the heck did I miss? <sighs> my god. Uh oh. Whoa. So let's come up here and try not to fall off and die. I don't know if that'll suck. Oh, can I go over here? Um, I can, but I guess I can't climb up that thing. Anyway, so let's climb up here and take three. I'm not looking forward to this. All right, buddy. You and me. And maybe... There we go. I was having problems with that in the last episode. Uh-oh. Aha! We have to save for that, buddy. Oh, okay. You can, you can stop that now. This thing can bunk you off. As you can see right here. And if I could actually do something to him, because that'll be nice. Come on. There we go. Alright, well, there goes that one. You guys are probably wondering, where's the last one? Well, guess what? It's his right hand. Yeah, his knife hand. That's what I like to call it. So. Whoa. Oh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to stab him right there. Alright. This is where these rectangle things right here come in handy. Come on. Follow the horsey. Horsey. Follow the human. Or whatever I am. I don't know my own anatomy. I don't know anything. Aren't I totally smart? Anyway. The... My god. Just got hurt. Why are people always sending me text messages during this recording? Alright, anyway. His last vital point is right here. Seriously. He dies like that. Stabbing him in the hand. That seems rather dumb. Wait, why am I going up his armpit? Okay. 
There we go. Still a weird sound. That's the last time I'm going to be saying that. But don't give me the no first. Big old jerk. Alright, anyway. Now that we're done with that. Dorman, what do you have to say, buddy? Time seems short as it is. Well, unfortunately, I might go a little overkill on this. But anyway, time for my last and final story of this Let's Play. You guys heard of sorcerers, right? Sorcerers come in many shapes and sizes. In fact, this place has been known to have so many sorcerers that once they once controlled the colossi here. However, the colossi betrayed the sorcerers and they had everyone abandon this land. And no one dared to return to this place ever since. In fact, those sorcerers had a master that taught them everything it knows. But little did they knew that their master was also a colossus. And so they betrayed him as well. Now that that story is done, if I were to rate my stories throughout this entire Let's Play, like, all eight of these episodes, I would rank them out of five, a two out of five. Yeah. I am not the best storyteller on the face of the planet. Fiction and or non-fiction. But anyway... As you can see, dead ahead is our destination. Um, believe it or not, the first time I played this game, when I was trying to find out where the Minotaur Colossus was, aka Gaius, not Gaius, Values, excuse me, I actually went this way first. But little did I knew that this was the final Colossus room. <sighs> and this was like back when I was like, I don't know, like 12 years old. When this game first came out. I, I, I don't know. It's been a long time. Anyway, as you can see, there's a little bit of bit of light coming through that door right there. That is what we need to do. We're going to come up to that door right there. And... Oh. Hang on, girl. You can stop now. You can stop. Stop! Stop! Thank you. And... Stand on this panel. And open the door. Oh. 
And with that, we are now entering the lair of the final boss. Um, when we come over here, we have a save point right there. If this is your very first time playing the game, I highly recommend you save. Because I consider this to be one of the most toughest boss in the entire game. Whoa. Aggro. A aggro. Forward. I right, thank you. Anyway, so let's come over here. Uh oh. Oh no! Release Katapachi. You will be missed, Agro. You've been probably one of the greatest deeds Wanders has ever had in his life. Well, now that little tragic moment has ended, we must carry on without him now. Anyway, what I, I really like about these blocks right here, check it out. They have faces of the Colossi, which is kind of fun. Fine. It's kind of cool, actually. Why can I not talk today? Anyway, let's just come over here. I like doing this. Watch this. Oh, okay, never mind. Anyway. So let's come up here. And... We're gonna come up this little stairway. There's this little chamber, and we will be meeting our final boss of the entire game. I know, it came pretty darn quick, didn't it? Anyway, so let's climb up this totem pole right here. Or pillar. I'm just gonna call it a pillar. And let's come up here. Check it out! Meet the final boss of the game, Malus, the Great Gygas, the Sorcerer Colossus. He has only one attack, which is his Concussion Blast. This thing will pretty much just attack you with these Concussive Blasts, no matter what. He knows where you are. He knows where you live. Phew. Um, in order to get to him, you're gonna want to stay behind these pillars right here. Oh, that was. So close. And I just gotta say, him throwing all these things at you, they can be pretty annoying. Case of point. So what we need to do is now we're gonna wanna run over here. We're gonna climb on this thing and what's he doing? 
Thank God he didn't hit the pillar, otherwise I would have been totally screwed out of ever. Uh, believe it or not, there is actually an alternate pathway to um, get to him. But you, it requires a very specific pathway that, as you know, I'm not doing it. And as you can tell, those concussive blasts are getting much more closer to us. Anyway, let's go over here. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, come on! Two at, a t two at once? What is this bull crap? Anyway, so let's come over here, try this again, and try not to get killed, because that'll suck. Oh god. Alright, go. Okay, down we go. Aha! And check it out, guys. We are directly underneath him. Oh, guys. Here we go. Sorry about that. I was taking a little drink. A little can of Coke right here. Um, sorry about that. Probably should have done that before or after this recording. Alright. Here we go, guys. Getting onto him is going to give you so much more hell than however much hell you've been getting so far. Because this one, I consider to be one of the most hardest bosses in the game. All you guys thought that, um... That Argus was hard. Oh man. This one is ridiculous. I mean, he's easy to get onto. You just gotta navigate it right. Anyway, right here, as you can see, he has a little bit of a wound point right here. Which is one of the most alternate ways to get on. Well, one of the main ways how to get up here. Well, actually, the main way. And come on. Come on. A little bit closer. There we go. Okay, so what you're going to want to do now. Uh, you're going to climb up onto his arm right here. And Malus is being a jerk about it. Come on. You could stop it now. Just let me get onto your arm, buddy. Come on. Come on. Oh. No, no, no. Let's play. Curse is affecting me. <sighs> All right. You know what? I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm finally onto his lower part of his left arm. Well, upper part of his left arm. So now we're going to want to get onto his right arm. So uh, what we need to do for this one is rather complicated. Wait, what am I? What am I doing? Oh, we're gonna stab him right there on his hand. And we're going to want to shoot him right on the shoulder blade. That's another wound mark right there. Alright. Now that we're done with that, let's jump onto here. Um, and right here. This is the only place... Only foot... Game! As 
I was saying, this is the only place where the weak point will be at. And just want to let you know, this thing is a jerk. He will shake about doing the hokey pokey like crazy. I mean, see, look at that. It's like putting his head in and his head out. And look at that, now he's shaking it more about. Too bad he can't twirl around because he's literally implying onto one spot. But yeah. Um, I guess while I'm doing this fight, I guess I could talk about the difference between each boss on easy and hard mode. <clears throat> anyway. Valus will have an extra fighter point on his right arm. Quadratus would have an extra vital point on his left side of, of the body. Gaius will have an extra vital point on his left upper arm. Um, Phydra will gain two vital points on one on each shorter blade. Avion remains unchanged. Barbara gains a vital point onto his right hand, I believe it is. Hydras remains unchanged. Kiromori remains unchanged. Basarin remains unchanged. Um, Dirge remains unchanged. Seleucia remains unchanged. Pelagia remains unchanged. Phylanx, once again, remains unchanged. Zenobia, you guessed it, remains unchanged. Argus gains an extra vital point onto his heart, which is the left side of his chest. And as for Malus here, remains unchanged. Those are the ones that I say unchanged, which just take more stabs to kill him. Because, as you know, they're stronger on hard mode. And they would take much more time for you to kill them. So much more, in fact, that it's not even funny. Oh, what? Have what? What? How does he still have one HP? Oh, oh come on! I I hit the thing. I hit that thing. Okay, you know what? Die. Thank you and good night. And that is it, everybody. That is the last Colossus of the game. We're practically done. Alright, so anyway. I am actually going to go ahead and let you guys watch the rest of this without my commentating because, like I said, we're practically done. And I'm floating on air. How am I walking on air? But anyway, thank you all for watching. I'm going to be getting into Pokemon Platinum this weekend. And I will see you guys then. Bye-bye. Oh, 
ると、ラーネ
Minuto! You're cool! 